Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. So we are now going through VinFast new production facility in a new manufacturing mega complex. Now the biggest question I have in my mind isn't so much about the production itself, but do they have the capability and ability to produce cars at a high volume and without having any issues or defects? That's the hardest thing for manufacturing engineering and manufacturing group to accomplish because once the production volume goes up, the defect rate always goes up. So I'm really curious as I enter the manufacturing complex, do they have all the right methodologies, the framework and the system to sustain a high volume production with high quality in mind? So those are some of the things I'm going to look for. As you know, I have a background in manufacturing. I've worked for a number of Japanese car companies. And so I have a very critical eyes when it comes to production system. So it's going to be a little bit tricky to fool me as I enter the production. So let me give you my fair, honest opinion as to whether I think they're going to achieve the top class, world-class manufacturing capability. Let's get into the factory. So one of the biggest surprises is the fact that we had unprecedented access to everything in manufacturing they were not afraid to show us what's going on because they want to demonstrate they have full transparency and they're not afraid that, that we might ask some questions. And so I'm very impressed with what I saw so far. They're right up there with some of the best in the world in terms of manufacturing philosophy, processes and methods. And I see all the evidences of what I see with, let's say, Toyota production system, such as Andong, Kaizen, Hokayoke system. These are all Japanese terminology to improve manufacturing processes and they are using all these things right here at VinFast factory. So from what I can see, they've done everything right. Let's see how this carries over to their American US factory. So first up was a scooter factory, which is an important industry because so many people use scooters here in Vietnam, simply because it's more convenient and it's cheaper to operate. And what I have observed is something very similar to what I saw in Japan at the Yamaha, scooter factory and i can see all of this evidences that this is a very efficient and a productive plant because they're using things like andon which is a way for the worker to stop the line if there's a problem and then it's also a kaizen method which means that whenever they find a mistake or issues they want to improve on it so i saw some evidence of that finally it's also a one-piece flow uh, that means that um, products and supplier Parts are all moving along at the same pace, uh, what we call tack time pace, which is a pace at which the supplier or a customer is buying and selling from each other. You can see here that uh, they're also using AGV, which is Automatic Guided Vehicle, which automatically brings the parts to the line so that the workers don't have to go and look for these things. Uh, once again, these are all kind of evidences and methods and processes that are used in top Japanese companies. And every single one of them are being used here at the VinFast Scooter Factory. So as a manufacturing engineer, I can tell you that they have a very modernized, effective and productive factory that should meet everyone's needs. Andrea. How do you like it? How do you like the manufacturing? Oh my manufacturing? God, it's absolutely amazing. I'm so impressed with VinFast. And think about this, from beginning to end, you can build a scooter in 40 minutes. There you go. So today was one of the busiest days because we had a full day of factory tour. Now, initially, I was not quite sure what to expect from the tour, but I came away extremely impressed with the level of technology, with the level of advancement, and the fact that they are taking into account some of the future methods that some other companies have not done so. That includes things like artificial intelligence and uh, IoT or Internet of Things. They have actually incorporated many of the features that are yet to show in some other manufacturers. So today was a really eye-opening day for me, especially because I have a background in manufacturing and uh, so I really wanted to know where they are and how far they have come in terms of their technology and their methods. Now, of course, the big change or big challenge is whether they can carry this momentum into the future with their first U.S. factory. But, but also they have to be able to show to the world that they can keep up with the demand and keep up with the quality even when the volume goes up. So those are some of the questions we have. But let me just take you through a little bit more about the factory and then show you what's going on. 
So clearly the factory is doing a startup mode, but uh, there's lots of really good practices going on. And I'm very excited to see uh, all of the major initiatives, processes, and methods in place, and looking forward to seeing how they'll continue to mature through this process. The General Assembly shop was supplied and installed by a leading German supplier with a highly automatic process using conveyor belts and automated guided vehicles, AGV. The main assembly processes are highly flexible, allowing multiple models to be assembled on the line simultaneously. The General Assembly shop has a design capacity of 38 jobs per hour, or up to 250,000 cars per year. To be fully assembled, a Linfast car will travel through an entire assembly line that is four kilometers long. Following the paintwork, the car body is automatically transferred to the General Assembly shop through an overhead conveyor system. We need to assemble roughly 3,000 main components and sub-assemblies to build a complete car. There are 15 lines in total, including interior, exterior, and door assembly, engine and chassis assembly, final assembly, and the finishing and final inspection lines. The principle of production management, just in time, and just in sequence, is applied when multiple models are assembled simultaneously on the line, with the support of high-tech equipment and systems, such as automated guided vehicles, torque systems supplied by Atlas Copco, a renowned Swedish supplier. Manipulators supplied by Dalmec from Italy allow operators to have ergonomic, safe, and effective handling of large parts and components without direct contact, helping to increase their productivity and safety. At the final assembly station, the vehicle control program is installed. The car then goes through a fluid filling station where it is equipped with its necessary operating fluids. That Different models will have different failure rates. Sure, of course. It's very yeah. hard to define overall. Okay? Right, yeah. Anyway, we have done the ancillary. And here, in the top lid, this is the fat lid that we do. Uh, the job, again, is almost to be ready uh, to be sent for end of line test. Uh, and after that, goes to a customer in GA. Right. When is your tack time here? Um, it, it, again, it varies within uh, between models. Pack, pack to pack, so I, uh, I will not give you wrong. Okay, okay. okay. But, but when you have a 50 gear line, we'll have dedicated flavors that I can tell you. Okay. After looking at the entire manufacturing complex, I have no question in my mind that they have the capability, know-how, and experience to build some amazing vehicles. And I very much look forward to seeing the factory in the U.S. when that is up and running. A lot more information coming your way in terms of VinFast and other products. Please uh, stay subscribed and uh, make some comments if you can. That would be truly appreciated. Until next time, I'm signing off for now.